Hey everyone, this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little more of a show and tell and a challenge to you. Um, so what you guys are seeing here before you is a whole bunch of cards and I actually have not counted them. Um, but I'll go through each kind of style with you guys and what I use to make them. Now, the, all of these cards, I'm gonna leave those where they are. They were made with, this is an old set, but Petal Gardens Memory and More card pack from Stampin' Up. Now these card packs are designed to go into the pocket pages, uh, scrapbooking style. And I really like these and I bought these actually to do a class with. Well, after the class was over, I still had three quarters of a uh, box of cards left. So I had some, a little more time since I'm at home a little more. Uh, <laughs> And I was like, you know what? I was going through my crafting stuff and I was reorganizing and putting stuff away. And I came across this card pack and I was like, you know what? I always said I would show more examples. So this is it. Now, what you guys see here in front of you, uh, I will show you guys what I have left over and why those pieces are left over. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull this far one over here out. It is still actually a little bit wet. So I'm going to set that one off to the side. And we'll pull these out. In this one okay so I'm gonna go through I had a couple of different styles and things like that going on sending these all up to the side here oh there we go so the first couple that I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go with they're a little more grunge uh, and the reason why I say that is I'm gonna pull these up so you guys can actually see them all and there we go about as good as it's gonna get I think <laughs> Uh, these five here, what I did was the only thing I allowed myself to use beyond this card pack was cardstock for the base as well as Whisper White uh, or White. I, I actually didn't use Whisper White. I used White. Uh, all the other paper and cardstock, it came from the cards in this little kit. Um, so... Now, I used embellishments. Most of these were scrap embellishments that I had floating around the house, but these were embellishments. Now, I call these a little more grunged up look um, because there's a lot of inking involved in a lot of these. So this one here is actually one of my favorites. It's very simplistic in reality. Uh, it is made with Calypso Coral as a base. And again, we layered a card cut down to a card base. I offset a couple of other cards on top of it. And then this sentiment card here on top actually was in my memories and more pack that I got. So then I just took a, stra a piece of ref leftover ribbon that I had sitting in my stash, ran that across. I believe it's actually Mossy Meadow, if anybody really wants to know. Um, but I thought it went really well with the card. It was a little bit darker, but still within that same family of color. And I just offset it with some lovely sequins. So, and I inked the edges of everything with soft suede on this card. Actually, most things I ink the edges so with soft suede, actually. This one here, again, it's a little more grunged up. I layered a layer of Whisper White. Very nice, small, fine layer there. Again, another card from the card pack. A couple more. And again, I just offset those in a declining. Now, I did add pearls to these, and that one is not straight. Don't know why. There we go. Makes me feel better. <laughs> now, also here on the petals, I actually used a white Wink Stella pen. Um... Normally dries a little bit clearer than that, but I kind of like the look that it gave me. And then this here, I actually have some leftover. What is this called? I forgot what kind of trim it is. Um, but it is, it's ruched ribbon and sweet sugar plum, which was a Stampin' Up in color at one point in time. But there's that. Very similar, again, inked everything with soft suede. A very similar one, again, here I used Pear Pizzazz as the card base, which I believe is actually the green that's actually in here. I believe the actual, the darker green is garden green, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> Ink the edges with soft suede on everything. Used a little, another bit of that ribbon here, and I tied it in a knot again. This sentiment here actually came off of one of the cards. Which card? I have no idea. Most of my sentiments actually came off the cards or were part of the sticker sheet that came in the pack, just so everybody knows. I didn't stamp any of these. Uh, any sentiments that you see were part of the cards or part of the sticker sheet that came with the card pack. 
Again, I did some inking with the white Wingostella. I added a few rhinestones here at the top and the bottom. These pieces here are actually for cards from the card pack, as well as this image here. So I did that. Uh, this one here I thought was really beautiful. It's very simplistic, but really pow powerful. Again, inked everything in soft suede. The card base is early espresso. I put another cutout card on top of that from the card pack. Use some Whisper White to frame out this Life is Beautiful, So Are You card. Now, this little flower, as well as this trim, this, I'm going to call it twine. I don't really know what this stuff is. It's it's not really ribbon, but it's not really string. I don't know what it is. Uh, that came out of my stash. That was just a piece of leftover that I wrapped around, as well as this little flower. It came off of something else I made. Now, this background here, I actually used ultra thick embossing powder on it. Um... And it turns out my embossing powder actually has a little bit of glitter in it. So it gave it a little bit of a glittery finish to it. I did ink the card before I did so. You can get the same effect by using a crystal effects or something like that. Um, something that allows, gives you a little more dimension. Now this one here, I also considered part of my little, my grunge look here. Again, we are using the Pear Pizzazz with or white. This card here that this thing is layered on is also actually from, is a full card from the card pack. It's offset by another card. I use some gold trim, I'm gonna call it, I don't really know. It's like Baker's twine, but not really, it's metallic. I did layer on a piece of another card that got cut off from this one. I layered it on here. Now the speckles actually came from this Art Alchemy Metallic um, paint actually. And this paint, what color is this? I don't actually know. I don't know. It's a goldy color. Um, you can get the same effect by using a marker and flicking it. You can use paintbrush and other paints. You can do that. Um, I actually just really liked the texture that it gave me. So there is that one. Okay. Next set. I'm going to set these off to the side here. I also try to do some more elegant ones. Um, and when I by that, what I mean is a little more, oh, where'd they go? I'm actually gonna include this one there. And those are actually the ones I've got, okay. So these I call my slightly more elegant. Um, this is black, white, and gold. Sorry about that, there we go. So this one here, I've got, I've layered it on some black cardstock. The sentiment here is actually from the sticker sheet. It is layered on top of a strip of leftover paper from one of the other cards. The dot, the scalloped edge behind is actually cut out from one of the cards, as is the white. The white is actually a piece of card, just so you know. The top piece is a sticker, actually. Lo and behold, it's actually part of a sticker. And I also went ahead and I kind of stuck some white Zwinka Stella. Now, you're not going to see in the camera, you're not going to see the glitter on there, but in person, you can actually see the glitter. Behind it is an actual card from the card pack, as well as this little gold die cut piece. I'm going to go over here to this other black one here. I thought this one was really beautiful. It's simplistic, but it's very elegant. I just offset a couple of cards. This card here is actually designed with a big giant white space in there. The Be Happy Be You uh, actually came from uh, inside of one of the pieces of one of the cards. So that was a sentiment that was on there. So I just cut that out. I added a couple of diamonds or rhinestones. And again, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet that I actually layered on top of that corner. It also has some Wink Stella on it. Now this card here, I actually did actually edge in black a little bit. You guys can see I inked the edges in black of not just the card, but also all the other cards as well. I did not ink the edges of the inside card. Now all of mine, didn't tell you guys this, all of mine actually have, oh, I did ink the edges, ha, huh, who would have thought. I did matte the inside of every single one of these cards. None of them are left unmatted. So I did use white to matte all the insides of the cards, just so you guys are aware. All right, so this one here, again, I layered 
on top of some sweet sugar plum. At least I believe that's what this is. If it's not, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I layered some white, a piece of the card. And again, this whole card, this You Make Me Smile card, is actually from the pack. It's, an, it's a full card from the pack. I took some uh, pearls and I just add, uh, edged the outside. I added some ribbon and made, turned it into a bow and added that as well. All right, moving on to the next set. Now these are just kind of, none of these are any one specific um, occasion. There are some that I definitely would use more for birthdays. There's some that I would probably use more for like thank you cards. Um, there's one in here, like the sweet moments, I actually might use as a baby card. <laughs> But just so everybody knows, there wasn't really any design in here as to what type of a card I was making. There are no sentiments on the inside of any of these. But again, I took a card, layered it on some Calypso Coral, took this, I cut this piece out actually from another card. So it's the big flat giant flower and it was on a big card. And so I cut it out and I layered it on this card and I added a couple of extra leaves that I cut off from something else somewhere along the line. And I layered that in there too. Added some white Wink Costello. Again, the sentiment came from somewhere in the pack. <laughs> Added a strip of ribbon in the background there uh, just to give it a little extra texture. And I didn't want to just use paper. And then I added some extra pearls here as well. So there's that one. This Sweet Moments card. Again, the Sweet Moments came from off the top heading of one card or another. Uh, this one's really simplistic, but I kind of like it. It's really great. It's very purple. Um, but I did actually, because this all is a pattern on here. So the only thing I did for this one, I did cut out the sweet moments, add that, added a couple of rhinestones around it. I added the ribbon here. And then I also went ahead and I added some crystal effects to the top of this card as well. It gave it a nice sheen, gave it actually some more texture. But again, very simplistic. If you wanted to add a picture, a small picture on here, you very easily can just lift this up, slide it in there, and you've got a perfect little mat as you send your card to somebody. Adding a picture of who it is that you're sending the card to sometimes is a really great way to elevate your card and make them personal. Okay, this one here. Again, I've got some pear pizzazz. I have a layer of white. And then the Seriously You Make Me Laugh is actually both stickers from the sticker sheet that came with the pack. I did add some crystal effects to this rose here, which is on the card itself, as well as this here, but then I popped up some extra leaves that I had here, but I did not add crystal effects to those. Now I did take this big giant white bowed ribbon. Um, this would be one of those cards that I would hand somebody in person. It will not go through the mail. Just to let everybody know that one will not go through the mail. Uh, moving on to my last, or actually my second to last set of cards here. Um, these are some of my favorites as well. I really enjoyed this one here. Again, I just offset things because I just really liked it. It's on the Sweet Sugar Plum base. We have white. We have a green card behind it. This card, this, the flower is actually part of the sticker sheet. I added some white Wink Costello to it. Um, at first I didn't like the white wing Costella. However, it, it turns out that it added a nice little pop to it as well and kind of made them not quite so perfectly pretty. I added some large rhinestones in the corners. I did add some of that same gold metallic thread underneath, just peeking out a little bit. The sentiment is offset as well. I just really liked that one because I thought that was fun. Now this one, I went very simplistic, very basic, very fast. And the sentiment actually comes again from one of the cards. It is layered on another piece of one of the cards. This background piece here is actually a card and it is cut it down to fit. Now I did add some glue and I add some dazzling diamonds or some clear glitter to it. And it just kind of made those flowers a little more opaque and a little more mysterious, but added some glitter and some fun to the card. Really fast, really easy way to add some extra pizzazz to something. Um, and change it up a little bit because otherwise it would have looked kind of similar to this one here. Uh, this one here, again, I just took one of those cards and layered it on some Calypso Coral. I added the crystal effects lightly. Some of the other cards, you're going to see a much thicker version. This is a very light version of that crystal effects. 
The sentiment I cut out using my layering oval dies as well as the scalloped border. Again, both cut out from pieces of the card there. And then I just added a little bit of ribbon, which is again the mossy meadow ribbon, and I added a few rhinestones underneath. This one here, again, the white here is actually from a card because this is the actual card base. I cut out using the layering circle dies, the center circle here, as well as the scalloped edge. I took some of the leftover pieces that I've cut off from other cards and made them a banner. I took some crystal effects and I added it to the piece of the side here. I added it to certain lines here, as well as my leaves on my banners and little dots. I covered the sentiment right here, which again came from one of the cards. And then this piece here, which I also cut out from another one of the cards, I actually added that to that one as well. You guys can see those. So they're all a little bit different, but they're all fairly basic cards, just so everybody is aware. The idea was to use up all of my scraps, and I will actually show you what I have left. Uh, I'm gonna start with this card. It's actually still a little wet. It's I just made it not too long ago. These last four cards, these are made out of 100% scrap. You guys will not see a full card in any of these. Um, the background here is the only one you'll see a card in. But so this background is a card. It's layered on some sweet sugar plum card base. I used the last other full card I had <laughs> and went ahead and layered that as well. This is a strip cut off from something else. And again, a flower cut off from another piece that was left over. I did add crystal effects to that. It is a thick layer of crystal effects. And I just offset that in the corner. The thankful, again, is cut out from a sentiment or saying on one of the cards. And then I just layered it on top of this little piece there. I liked the arrow instead of the uh, be uh, banner, pen and banner. Uh, I just thought it was something different. And I added a couple of smaller rhinestones in the background there. Now we're down to truly <laughs> what's left over. Uh, I actually labeled this on some elegant eggplant. The ribbon is Blackberry Bliss. I thought it went really well. Even the elegant eggplant because it's all different stages of purples in here. Uh, the Enjoy Life was a sentiment out of one of the stamp sets. This little flower here actually sits out over here if you're looking at the cards. But I added some glue as well as some dazzling diamonds or clear glitter on top of that. Again, it made that flower just a little more mysterious as well. And then what you guys are seeing as the background here is actually just scrap pieces. They were all just these teeny tiny little scrap pieces. Uh, this banner right here that's sitting on the back of this green actually comes from the popcorn framelit dies set or ready to pop die set I think it is and it's just that little banner that's right there uh, this one over here again we are 100% just using things up so I do have a white base here the center card was the last large piece of anything I had left over as well as all these little purple pieces they were just leftover scraps that I had so that I went ahead and used that as well as this and I am thankful uh, again from the sentiments there. I just trimmed it down to actually fit on this strip that I had. I offset that at an angle. That is not quite 100% squared, but that's okay. I'm the only one that's gonna notice that. Maybe you guys will too. Um, these leaf stickers here were actually the two leftover stickers that I had from the sticker sheet. So I went ahead and I used that. This last one here is a Clipso Coral card base with a white uh, frame and then these pieces here these back pieces are our smaller pieces of card that I had left over and Then I did cut out the butterflies using the bold butterfly framelit dies from Stampin up uh, Any small butterfly would actually work for you Punch those out kind of lifted those up a little bit again out of only the scraps that I had I added some crystal or some rhinestones to the center of those as well Wow now I've lost track of how many that is, but I want to show you guys what it is I actually have left over. I don't have very much. This pack comes with approximately 100 cards. This is what I have left. 
So let me open this up. Whoop. Yep, that's it. Um, I did keep this because there's actually some large spaces of gold here that I can use. So I wanted to keep the gold. Sorry if you guys hear the dog in the background. This piece here I'm actually going to use to show you guys another card. You guys will see that coming up soon. So I did save that one in specific. Uh, these are just a couple of leftover stamp sentiments I have. Love you, happy, and the best life ever. Um, these again, these are actually like little, I don't know what you guys call them. I guess they're little labels. Um, but I kept a few pieces that had a lot of white. So like this background here is all white as well as this one, these couple here. I kept those. I will use those to stamp on. They're nice. They're thick cards. So I was like, you know what? They're great for stamping and punching with. I'll use those somewhere else. I do have this little gold leaf foil piece here. Don't worry. You guys will see me use this in another card soon. Other than that, this is literally all I have left. Otherwise, all the cards got put into here. Um, so there are tons and tons of things you guys can do. So now with all that information, we'll bring some of the cards back in. I won't bring all of them back in. But I challenge you to go out and maybe find one of these card kits that you have that you've used in the past or you have just pieces of them left over from these little card packs pull one out of your stash and say okay i'm going to sit down and force yourself to actually use them only allow yourself cards for or card stock for card bases but nothing else uh, i want to see what you guys come up with especially uh, we all most of us have a lot of extra time at home these days and so I want to challenge you guys to do this. It is a great way to use up scraps. It's also a great way to make a lot of cards in a very short amount of time because you're very limited on what you can use. Uh, it, they're also really great sentiments that you guys can send out right now in this time of uncertainty for most people and many people. Uh, you know, just send a card saying, hey, how you doing? Uh, these are great cards for that kind of thing. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been a while since I've had a video. I am so glad you guys joined me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, please click that subscribe button down there. And until next time, everyone, bye.